This day in Sioux Falls history is brought to you by Thomas James and Bechtold Jewelry, the oldest jewelry store in South Dakota, using time-tested techniques to restore and repair jewelry and using the latest technology to create custom pieces. Thomas James and Bechtold Jewelry, 325 South Phillips Avenue in downtown Sioux Falls. It was on this day, May 9th, 1900, the National Presidential Convention of the American Populist Party was held right here in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. As a more centrist offshoot of the Democratic Party, the Populist Party was a very attractive party for the American farmer, and it captured the imagination of Sioux Falls citizen and South Dakota Senator R.F. Pettigrew. In fact, Pettigrew had been elected as a Republican, publicly condemned the party, and began caucusing with more moderate silver Republicans and populists. Pettigrew pulled strings and talked up our great city to the People's Populist Party National Convention to be hosted right here. Due to the fact that the party didn't really have enough popular support across the country to stand as a viable third party, they hitched their wagon to the bigger Democratic Party. Though the national showing wasn't quite as big as expected, local and regional politicians poured into Sioux Falls for the two-day convention. They nominated William Jennings Bryant as their first suggested Democratic presidential nominee, and they put together a platform to submit to the Democratic Party in hopes that the larger party would take on some of their issues in hopes of keeping the populist support. The populist party would dissolve less than a decade later, due in no small part to Senator R.F. Pettigrew. Disillusioned with the lack of success in the backroom politics, Pettigrew would spend much of the beginning of the 20th century backing candidates that he believed in rather than beholding himself to any specific party. And also, he openly criticized and even attacked policies and colleagues that he didn't agree with. Kind of sounds familiar, like politics today. This Day in Sioux Falls History has been brought to you by Thomas James and Bechtold Jewelry. Hi, this is Thomas James with Thomas James and Bechtold Jewelry. We're absolutely honored to be able to look back on the history of Sioux Falls because we feel we're part of that. But we always look forward to the future and working with your grandchildren. It's more than jewelry, it's love. Come and see us at Thomas James and Bechtel Jewelry at 325 South Phillips Avenue, downtown Sioux Falls.